Once you've collected your insects, what you need to do now is you need to kill your insects. Uh, there are a couple methods that are available to you. The first is, of course, you can take the insects and place them in a Ziploc bag and place them in a freezer. Leave them overnight by the next morning. They'll be dead and ready for preservation. A second method that can be employed is the construction of a kill jar. Uh, kill jars are easy to make. All you need is a mason jar, such as you see here, and a plaster, a plaster of Paris uh, kit that can be purchased at a retail store. Uh, basically what you would want to do is mix your pl plaster of Paris, uh, try to mix in maybe a half of handful of uh, sawdust. What this will do is allow the killing agent to uh, permeate the plaster of Paris once it's dried. So you mix your plaster of Paris, you pour it into the kill jar, uh, you allow it to set uh, for about 24 hours. And basically what you'll do is you'll put about an inch uh, of plaster of Paris in the container. Uh, let it sit for 24 hours and it will harden. Now for the kill agent, what you use is uh, acetone uh, or fingernail, fingernail polish remover. And what you do is you're charging the kill jar. I have a completed kill jar right here and you can see the plaster of Paris in the bottom of the kill jar. Basically what you do is you open it You take your acetone, you put the acetone in the kill jar, cap it, and allow the acetone to soak in to the plaster of Paris. Now it's important to remember, you do not put enough acetone in here that it is floating on the top of the plaster of Paris you do not want to drown your insects. You want to kill them based on the fumes that are being emitted by the acetone. So you allow the acetone to soak in, and at this point, it is charged and ready for use. Now another method that can be used is you can use the same mason jar. What you do is purchase some cotton balls from the same retail store. Place uh, four to five cotton balls in the bottom of the jar, such as you see here. Place a piece of aluminum foil or paper. On top of the cotton balls, such as you see here. Charged with acetone. The acetone will soak into the cotton balls. And the purpose of the aluminum foil on top is so when you put your insects in, they're easy to get out. Then what you do is you can cap it with aluminum foil or a cap that comes with the mason jar. Screw the lid on. And you have a homemade kill jar. Two other points to remember when dealing with a kill jar is to take duct tape or masking tape and tape the bottom of the jar. The reason you want to do that is because if you're in the field and you're collecting insects and you're putting them in here, if you happen to drop the jar, uh, it's not going to break that way. That's just for your own protection. The second thing that you want to do is make sure you label this a kill jar and put on their poison, acetone or ethyl acetate, which is another compound that can be used as a killing agent. But remember to always label your vial or container as, a, as poison and to remember to tape the bottom for your own protection.